Hi, I'm Sherry Ortiz. And I'm Vicki Romans. From Ask the Experts on DentalXrays.info. We've had a lot of questions about how to get bite wings to include the distal of the canine using a sensor on a narrow arch or actually any arch at all. Sometimes it's just hard to, to get that distal of the canine because the sensors are a little thicker and they're a little harder. What happens is that when you try to put them, the sensor close to the patient's tooth, you're not going to get the, um, you're not going to be able to get a good view. It's not going to be close enough, you're going to have to move it toward the middle of the patient's mouth where the arch is higher. So if we open up her mouth and I look at this, often the, the molar view isn't going to require anything except moving it toward the middle and putting the distal of the, the middle of the second molar on the, and having her bite down and bringing the cone and taking that. That's all you need to do for the molar view. However, when we're doing the premolar view, if I just move it toward the middle of the mouth, and she bites down, and I'm looking, I don't see the distal of the canine. So what we have to do is put it toward the middle of the mouth, and then what I call is a cross arch. I'm twisting it in the mouth, and I'm having her bite down. However, you cannot take the x-ray just like this, because if I would take this while it's twisted in the mouth, it's a paralleling technique, and everything is going to be, the horizontal angle is going to be coming like this, and you're going to have overlap. So what I like to call is thinking outside the circle. What I'm going to do is see where her contacts are coming in. So if I want to have this beam coming in to make the contacts open and it's twisted like this, I'm going to have to think outside the circle and bring my cone coming this way. So again, I'm going to place it in the patient's mouth, twist it so it's a cross arch, have the patient bite down, Now again, I don't want to come like this. I want to come this way, thinking outside the circle and taking the view like this. When you first take it and you don't do the cross arch, this is often what you'll get. You don't get the even the, the mesial of the first premolar along the distal of the um, canine. However, when you do the cross arch, you see that you can include the distal of the canine and thinking outside the circle, coming, you know, not following the circle, bringing it back and placing your central ray beam through the x-ray, through the, um, the, the interproximal spaces of the teeth, you'll have nice open contacts. And you can see that we've gotten all these nice open contacts and the distal of the canine. All right, I hope these tips help you when you're trying to get the distal of the canine using a sensor.